So, it's Friday after CitizenCon. Hello YouTubers, this is Anubafire. Today is the 22nd of October, there was an hour-long show, the first after CitizenCon, Star Citizen Live. Today we had Richard Tyrer with the plan to discuss 315, here's what you need to know. 315 is currently on Wave 1 PTU, and Jared mentioned that Todd Pappy, who was supposed to be live today, was actually in Montreal working with Turbulent. Questions were taken from the live audience and from Spectrum, and Jared wanted to know what the plan was to deal with killing with the healing gun, which is basically griefing, right? Richard confirmed that they're currently testing the idea of disabling the griefing guns and others like the gravity gun in the green zone, but in the future they'll add NPC guards that will take correct action to keep the peace. But you may still use all of these items on yourself. They want to make sure that if you're down near a hospital, everything you had will be there, simulating that you would have gotten help. Local inventory is still a temporary feature until physicalized inventory is fully added. They're adding these to ship components and others in the future, as all of them will get merged into the hangar management app. Richard described a situation where changing a gun on the ship would trigger NPCs who would arrive in your hangar and make the changes to your ship. With the new Nicknaps app, players who steal or loot items will have them usable in their inventory. Like, for good. In 315, if you lose a subscriber item or an item that you paid for with real money, that's it. They're gone. Which which does make sense, right? These items will be added back to your account in 316, but the long-term goal will be to allow you to track and retrieve them. This will not be an insurance claim, ever, because they don't want to have duping or performing fraud. Their current future solution will be that if in the future, that thief or the person who owns your item is caught, the item may be returned to you. I guess like a lost and found. They're working to add a temporary beacon that marks your dead body before 315 launches, but no promises. Stairs can currently kill you. <laughs> it's perfect. Richard confirmed what we already know, that despite releasing items known to be broken to live patches, this is the only way to make progress in testing. He actually said this about four times during the show. 30k crash recovery is new for 315. There's a heartbeat that's taken to capture your current state when the server crashes. And when you come back, you're given what you had at the time the heartbeat. I like how they said, if it crashes, rather than using the word when. Optimism. But I can confirm that this is a great step towards some quality of life. Richard spoke for a little bit about some tweaks to planet tech. Richard spoke for a bit about healing again. Richard spoke about some work to improve how the HUD tech scales in various resolutions. Richard said for the moment that there are no plans to add medical to prison, but that may come in the future patch. The next step will be to migrate to T1 inventory with armor cupboards, gun racks, and lockers. Foldable items will take less space in a backpack than something like a chest plate, which is cool because it makes sense. Richard confirmed that there's a balance between progression and releasing a perfect bug-free patch. Obviously, they don't purposely release a broken patch, and they actually have teams that do nothing but fix bugs before that patch goes live. Jared asked about super legendary items and loot boxes, and Richard said that there are currently no such items. Jared asked me to tell you specifically, directly, that they were discussing the idea of adding ironing clothing and folding minigames in the future. He also asked me to tell you about iron-on decals with LTI coming to the subscriber store. That's it. A great show with lots of information. Thank you very much for spending your time with me. If you enjoy these breakdowns, please consider subscribing so that I can help keep you up to date. And please consider sharing with a friend or orgmate, as that helps out more than you might know. Fly safe and I'll see you in the verse. Uh, uh, iron on decals and stuff. To, you know, those little transfers, those little paper transfers. I'm thinking about that too.